Now, from the campus of Mount Vernon Nazarene University, this is Cougar Net News. Hello, this is Cougar Net News. I'm Kaylee Nix. Welcome. It's been quite a start to the spring semester here at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. Within the first week of classes, students were given a partial snow day. However, that seems to be the only snow day MVNU students will see. Danny Donich has more on what it takes to get campus closed due to snow. I live out in the country, so it's a little harder for me to get in. And, you know, when school buses aren't even out, maybe we shouldn't either. So what does it take to get campus closed? I asked some students their opinion. I think probably a level two. Like a level two or level three? I think level twos are a pretty good indication. To find out exactly what the criteria for getting a snow day is, I went to Dr. Spalding. And we look at if it's for a snow related thing is what the status of the snow emergency is by the Sheriff's Department. We have several sites we look at that tell us what the pattern of the weather uh, is and what the accumulation might be. And I also went to talk to Dr. Martin about the policy. We have been uh, reviewing that and we will be adding uh, a variety of elements a web-based uh, notification, we're looking at a text-based uh, notification for those that want to sign up uh, for something like that. So we are looking at how we might re revise that and we are consulting with uh, other colleges in that regard. But the core of it is, uh, the basis is road conditions and safety for travel external to the campus that would then drive that decision. However, Victoria is still concerned about her classes and what it could mean if she can't make its campus because of the bad weather. You know, we're just trying to get an education, trying to learn our way. But weather inhibits sometimes, and, you know, we shouldn't be, you know, held, you know, lose a day because of it. I'm Danny Donich for Cougar Net News. A powerful earthquake hit Haiti on January 12th. The death count is more than 200,000, and 1.2 million people are homeless. Mount Vernon Nazarene University students are getting involved in the Haitian relief effort. We are a people who, when we recognize the need and see the need, uh, God reminds us and challenges us to be a part of making a difference in the world, of seeing the needs of others met. And um, there's certainly no doubt that um, the people of Haiti right now need us. Haitians survive on less than $2 a day. All contributions are helpful. MVNU clubs, Students with Concern, Cosmo, and the SEA are on a mission to collect books. Books can be donated by MVNU students anytime by simply leaving them in the drop box in the chapel. They will be then donated to the Columbia Elementary School here in Mount Vernon. Though MVNU has held some book drives in the past, they were all short term. But assistant to the chaplain, Joe Noonan, says this one will stick around until illiteracy is no more. The results of the election for SGA executive positions are in. Student body president is Jameson Seymour. VP of Community Life is Sarah Cruzy, VP of Christian Life is John DeMuth, VP of Academic Life is Nate Winters, and VP of Social Life is Ryan Walker. According to MiriamWebster.com, Lent is comprised of the 40 weekdays from Ash Wednesday to Easter, observed by the Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, and some Protestant churches as a period of penitence and fasting. We spoke with Dr. Doug Matthews, a theology professor here at MVNU, about the significance of the Lent season. We also spoke with some students to find out their thoughts on Lent and what, if anything, they are willing to sacrifice. Uh, Lent is both a day and a season. It usually starts in February, February 17 this year, and it goes until Monday, Thursday, the Thursday before Easter, or it goes up to Easter. And it's identifying with the 40 days in the wilderness when Jesus was preparing for ministry by focusing on his coming uh, activity and kingdom work and preparing for what he was going to go through, including the cross. I, I just couldn't come up with anything this year, so I, I did not participate in like the giving up aspect of Lent. Well, actually, yes, I am participating in Lent. I decided to give up soda. So This year, I'm giving up ice cream. Of all the students we spoke with in our sampling, there were more students who were not planning on participating in Lent. This still makes sense. And if I don't have enough, I'm not a simple phone call. That is all the staff and students at WNZR are waiting for. Hours, days, weeks, and even months have gone into preparing for what happens when these phones light up. This is Lifeline, the annual fundraiser at WNZR. The goal? $60,000. The reason? WNZR is almost entirely listener supported. But make no mistake, 
Every cent of it is earned. A lot of preparation went into Lifeline 2010. We, Marcy and I, spent a lot of hours, usually from 8 to 11, working on the schedule, getting papers set up for our training meeting. Um, I know Kaylee did a lot of behind the work scenes, and so did Ashley, and everybody just helped with a lot of things that nobody realizes we need done before Lifeline even happens. WNZR staff members and students in fundraising and radio practicum classes have been working on various projects to promote the fundraiser and gather food and prize donations from local businesses. Students in different classes are volunteering anywhere from 8 to 24 hours towards Lifeline. Each year, Lifeline adopts a theme. This year, Intentionally Uncommon. I think the theme Intentionally Uncommon was really born out of a out of kind of an evolution of different themes and what we thought was we went through so many different thought processes and then when we when someone said intentionally uncommon at boot camp we were like oh that is definitely our theme for this year and for the staff and students at wnzr being intentionally uncommon and coming closer to god is more valuable than any amount of money this winter mvnu had its first snow building contest a student would build a snow sculpture take a picture and send it to scott lomazny Although the weather has been going back and forth, students still got creative. From chess boards to cards and even Spongebob, Scott said there were seven entries that sent in pictures. There are plans to have another contest next year, but only if the weather is right. This has been Cougar Net News. I'm Kaylee Nix. Thank you for joining us.